everyone. This video is just for fun and no, my arm didn't get super hairy. That's my husband's arm and Jeff is helping out with today's project. This is something I do when I really want to loosen up and use my imagination and I'm calling it watercolor doodles or squiggles. You can do this yourself, but it's better to ask someone to make a bunch of blobs or abstract shapes on your paper. I had Jeff paint six here, but you can go smaller and do a lot more if you like. Ask your volunteer to make them look different from each other and have the paint be watery enough so that when you draw on it later, you'll be able to see your pen's lines. Good job, Jeff. While the blobs dry, look at them carefully and see if you can find hidden pictures in them. I try to turn all of mine into faces, but you can draw other things too. The first one reminded me of a person wearing some kind of cowboy hat, and that small line seemed like a lock of hair. I'm using a black Pilot G2 gel pen. Some pens work better than others on watercolor paper, so see what works for you. You could also use a pencil, but I really like the look of a black line with these light colors. The watercolor shapes should inspire you. They're kind of like seeing images in clouds. Add your own ideas and draw beyond the squiggle. Most of my faces are grotesque and exaggerated. Like with the second one, I thought that big droopy shape could be a really big nose. You can make just about anything look like some kind of nose, and that's usually where I get my initial ideas. And I made that nose look even bigger by giving him a small mouth and eyes. I like to draw cartoons, and the randomness of the watercolor blobs can help me come up with characters I never would have thought of drawing otherwise. Sometimes you'll need to turn your paper to get an idea. That shape on the right could have been a nose, but that seemed too easy, so I turned it into a jowly cheekbone. Don't be afraid to make your characters look ugly or weird. That's part of the fun. My face here is big, so I'm drawing him as though he continues off the page. I think my favorite part here are the bags under his eyes. It looks like he's just so over it. I had some trouble coming up with a solution for this one. There's just a lot going on. So I decided to look at the white shapes, or the negative space, for ideas. And I saw a couple arguing in the white shapes. It started with this profile of a woman, and again, I would probably never think to draw a woman like this, but I really like her. The man kind of reminds me of Homer Simpson. I saw a frowny chin in that white wedge shape, and the rest followed from there. He's like, oh, you think so? And he's going off the page, and I can't draw too much more of her without hitting the next blob. But I've given them some bodies, and because I really had to think about it, this blob ended up being my favorite of the six. Sometimes you'll just automatically know what to do with the blob, and this solid shape is clearly a nose, and the guy is obviously wearing sunglasses. When I was a high school art teacher, I would have my students do this project when we'd have a shortened schedule, or maybe it was the last day before a break, and they had a blast with it. I encouraged them to help and get ideas from each other, and we had a lot of laughs. I saw a crane in the white space here, and I couldn't unsee it and turn it into anything else. This is one of those cranes with the crown of feathers on its head that's kind of like a mohawk. One time I made wrapping paper this way, just drawing a bunch of weirdo characters and using it to wrap a child's gift. I feel like I sort of overworked this one, like I should have stopped here, but it's fine. So this project isn't very serious and it'll help you stretch some creative muscles. Kids of all ages can do it and I really hope you try it. And thanks to Jeff for helping me out today. Thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe.